Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor right now to praise him right now to give him the glory. Shout out his holy name right now. Let him know that he's your everything. Let him know that you love seeking him each and every day with all your might, heart, and soul. Give him the praise and glory what he deserves right now. Let the whole world know that you're in love with Jesus, that he's your everything in the mighty name of Jesus. We serve an awesome and amazing God, y'all. Always give it up to him. No matter what you're going through in life, always give him the thanks, praise, and glory each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. And today's word is, as long as you're thinking about it, as long as you think about whatever it is that you ask, ask God for, that you trust in the man, as long as you're thinking about it, the word of God said that you trust him. It don't matter what it is, some of, some of us think about it each and every day. And the more that you're thinking about it, the more that you let Jesus know that you trust him. You let Jesus know that he's on your mind each and every day. You let Jesus know that he, you know that whatever it is that you're asking for will come to you. It will and shall prevail in his name, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I hope y'all ladies and gentlemen are ready for, to, for today's word and message like I am. And I'm ready to deliver it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And before we get started, we always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, praise, and glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today, our strength today, our hearing, our voice today. We can't thank you enough for Heavenly Father God because as long as we think about whatever it is that we ask you for, we trust you in, we let you know that we trust you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We just can't thank you enough for opportunities that you give us each and every day. We just can't thank you enough for the blessings that you blessed us with. We can't thank you enough for our love that we have for you, and that you have for us. We just can't thank you enough. You say you'll never leave us or forsake us. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy on Heavenly Father God. That's why we're here today. We just can't thank you enough because we serve an awesome and a faithful and loving God. We just can't thank you enough for everything that you do and what you're about to do in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to Proverbs 23, and we're going to read from verse 7. That's Proverbs chapter 23, and we're going to read from verse 7. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. For he is the kind of man who is always thinking about the coast. You are the kind of person who is always thinking about the coast. And what is the coast? The coast is God, y'all. As long as you thinking about whatever it is that you asking God for, and you trusting the man, as long as you thinking about it, you letting your heavenly Father God know right now that you trust Him. And some of you right now, or more than y'all right now, are think, thinking about something each and every day. It don't matter what it is. Soon your heavenly Father God blow breath inside your body, and He pump blood through your veins. Right then and there, you start thinking about his grace and his mercy. You start thinking about the promises. You start thinking about whatever it is that you ask him for all day long when you're at, when you're at work, you at gym, or you at the house, or wherever it is that you might be. You're thinking about it. And it's going around and around and around in your, in your head each and every day. And sometimes we think about it so much, we already see that we visualize ourselves already there. We picture ourselves seeing everything that what we ask God for, what we trust in the man. Come on now, I know I'm talking to somebody right now. I don't know what y'all thinking about. But each and every day, I think about how I can thank him and seek him in his kingdom each and every day. I always think about how I can praise him more, to glorify and shout out his holy name more. I always think about how I can be a better servant and a son to him. I always think about his greatness and his mercy and his promises each and every day. I always think about how he's using me, how he's building me up each and every day. I always think about this ministry that he blessed me with. I always think about signing the largest ministry there ever. When I say signing the largest ministry there, I mean doing like Paul did, going around the world. Traveling the world, spreading the word of God, helping the poor and the needy. Each and every day, that's what I think about. I think about being a better, a better husband to my wife, a better father towards my, towards my children, a better minister towards all God's kids. Each and every day, every day, I, I, what I think about, 
And more that I think about it, the more I'm letting God know that I trust him. I'm letting God know that whatever it is I have asked for and I sacrificed for, that he will bring to me in, in due time. I always think about it. It never goes flip my mind. I think about how many go to different ministries and it help them and try to build them up. They can build me up. I think about going to different countries where, where some of them have water or they don't have food or clothes. I can go over there and help provide. That was part of the ministry deal for. That was part of this, this endorsement deal for. To go help people. Even people over here in our country who don't have lights, who don't have clothes, who don't have shoes, who don't, who's not able to provide for their families. That's what this deal is about. I think about it each and every day. Each and every day I would say, okay, this is the day I know it's going to come. And the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm trusting God. Because that's what the coast is. We the way. So you got to think about, picture yourself as, as a surfer. We know on the surfer, you know we got we, we, we surfing on the coast. We surfing on waves. And we know the coast is God. As long as we got our mind focused on God and we trust in God, he's going to bring the waves to us. Because why? We surfing on the way. We tr we trusting our coast. Our coast is him. Our coast is our everything. As long as you're thinking about it. That's what the word of God says. So if you're not thinking about it, I mean you're not trusting God. But if you're thinking about it on a daily basis like I am each and every day, you are trusting God. And that's what God, that's what God expects from us. Are you thinking about it? How bad are you thinking about it? Some of us think about it more each and every day. Sometimes I, I find myself zoned out at work. They say, Elton, you okay? I say, yeah, I'm okay, but you only know what I'm thinking about. If you only know what I'm thinking about, I think about it each and every day. I think about how I can, I always want to say, I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done and what you're doing in my life. I think about how I just want to keep continuing to praise you and worship you and seek in your kingdom each and every day to be a better uh, son and servant to you each and every day, to glorify you, to worship your name, to bring people to you, Heavenly Father God. I just think about it. I think about it. I think about this deal over and over and over again. I think about how I'm going to just be able to contact with different people around the world, just travel the world and, just, and just continue to share and spread the word of God each and, each and every day. I think about having children with my wife. I think about people, the people I'm going to meet, people I haven't asked for that God will bring. I think about the blessings that I asked for, the blessings I didn't ask for. I'm, I think about the doors that I asked for to open and the doors I didn't ask to open. I think for opportunities. I think for, for different situations. I think for, for friends to come to my wife's life. What are y'all thinking about? Somebody right now is thinking about a brand new job. And the more you're thinking about it, you ever see yourself walking to that brand new job. You ever see yourself being in that brand new job. You ever see yourself making good money in that brand new job. Some of y'all are thinking about leaving the valley that y'all been stuck in. You wonder why you're going to get out. Every day you, you think about it like, man, I can't wait till I move to my new home. I'm tired of being in this home. I can't wait to be there. You can already visualize you being there. Some of y'all visualize, visualize for that husband. Who going to treat you right and love you right? Each and every day you think about it like, man, I see my perfect husband who going to love me and treat me the way I need to be treated as a queen, as a daughter, as a child of God. Some of y'all thinking about that wife who's going to love you and treat you as a king like you're supposed to. Some of y'all think about children. Some of y'all think about your um being debt free. Some of y'all think about this being a better you, losing weight, whatever it is that you, you're thinking about, and you're thinking about it each and every day, you are letting your Heavenly Father God know that you trust Him. And think about, but our God, He know our deepest thoughts. So the more that we thinking about it, He know what we're thinking about, so that let Him know that we trust Him even more. Come on now. You're still thinking about it. I just want to encourage every last one of y'all today, Always continue to think about what it is that you're thinking about. Because the more that you're thinking about it, the more that you're thinking about it, the more that you're trusting God. And the more that you're thinking about it, guess what? Sooner or later it's going to come to us. Because why? He's on our mind. Because we're looking at the coast. And the coast is God. That's why we're thinking about it. So who's always thinking about the coast? We're thinking about the cause. We're thinking about God. We're thinking about God and His grace. We're thinking about His mercy. We're thinking about His promises. 
That's what we think about. We think about it. Everything we ask for, pray for, and sacrifice for in the mighty name of Jesus that is going to come to us. That's why we're thinking about it. That's why it's always on our mind. It's like a repeat. It's like playing, playing a, a tape and you hit repeat over and over and over again. It will never leave you because the reason why it's not going to leave you because you trust it so much. You believe in it so much. And the more that you trust in it and the more that you believe in it, the more that your Heavenly Father God is going to push. He's going to bring it to you. Why are you going to push you? Because you are the way. And he is the coast. The coast look at everything. It makes sure that everything is clear. And right now, our coast is clear. Right now, I believe right now that God's about to bring everything to us right now. That whatever it is that we, we've been thinking about, he's about to push it to us right now. Right now, our coast is clear. And everything that we're thinking about, God's about to bring it to us. Why? Because we think about it too much. You know who you are. It's not a, it's not a shame to think about it. Because God says that who is always thinking about it. You always thinking about that husband, right? You always thinking about that wife, right? You always thinking about getting out of debt. You always thinking about that new house, that new car, that new job. I know I'm always thinking about how I can serve him more, to seek him in this kingdom more, to be a better servant in the sun. I'm always thinking about my wife more. I'm thinking about children, my wife. I'm thinking about this ministry deal. I'm thinking about this being like Paul and this going around the world and this continue to share and spread the word of God and help the poor and the needy out each and every day. That's what I think about. I think about it each and every day. There's not a day that don't go by I don't think about it. As long as my Heavenly Father God gave me breath and he gave me life, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Sometimes I, I zone out because I see myself going around the world spreading the word of God. I see myself helping the poor and the need. I see myself helping other ministries and other ministries helping me and we keep building God's kingdom each and every day. I see myself having children with my wife. I see it. I see it each and every day. And the more I see it, the more I'm thinking about it, and then God know that I trust him. And he's let me know that he know that I trust him. Always think about it, y'all. Because the more you think about it, the more you trust in God. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message for somebody today. God wanted you to know. The more that you're thinking about it, he said he telling you right now that y'all trust him. That's what he's telling somebody right now. He said, the more that you're thinking about it, the more it's on your mind, the more it's on your heart, he's saying that you trust me. In Jesus' name, amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, and mold me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment my YouTube channel, is withers.lt. I just want to let y'all know that I love y'all, and I trust y'all, y'all continue to trust Jesus, because he's going to push everything to us today. I believe everything that we, we think about, He's going to bring us to us. The more we're thinking about it, the more they're letting us know that we trust him. And he knows that we trust him. That's why we think about it so much, y'all. Y'all continue to think about it. Don't let nobody tell y'all, don't think about it. Because the more you think about it, you trust God. You already see it. You already know it's yours because you already don't claim it. Continue to think about it. Continue to pray. Continue to worship him. Continue to glorify and shout out his holy name each and every day. Continue to get him thanks. Continue to let him know that you can't thank him enough. For what he has done, what he is doing, what he about to bring to your life. In Jesus' name, I love y'all. Stay blessed. Always.